Hi, Gene here with today's thought, which is really just going to be a little bit of tooting my own horn. It's going to be, I guess you could call this a video. Uh, well, I think I did it in the title. Can I call them or what? Because I made a prediction just a little over a week ago on uh, July 24th, uh, you know, a little over a week before I'm recording this. And I said, well, this is uh, the situation just to, to set the scene in case you forgot. But this was shortly after the two IRS whistleblowers uh, testified before Congress with a lot of damaging information to Hunter Biden, regarding Hunter Biden and by extension, Joe Biden. And the well, what happened soon after that, the very day after that, the, the this uh, renegade uh, process, uh, special counsel, uh, Jack Smith, the news came out, Trump announced that he'd gotten a target letter. Uh, no charges, just a target letter, which usually means, uh, almost always means that an indictment is coming. So this was issued the day it was the, the target letter was issued or Trump received it the day after the, this testimony, this damaging testimony. And I made a prediction. I made a prediction that every time some negative news comes out that could, uh, when I mean by negative, negative to, uh, the Bidens, to any Biden that, but especially the, anything that would implicate Joe Biden in, uh, well, we'll just stick with that. Anything that would implicate uh, or do further damage to Joe Biden regarding the, it's obvi the obvious or the increasingly obvious um, conclusion that, that we have to draw that he was, uh, that he's corrupt, that he was involved in uh, influence peddling, not just an influence peddling operation, but an influence delivery operation. I'll get into that more in a future video. The, the point I want to make today, tooting my own horn, is that I predicted, I said that every time some information like this comes uh, out, something that the, the press is going to desperately, the, 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 what I call the Praetorian press, the liberal press, is going to try not to uh, report at all. They'll try to bury it. The conservative press, conservative media, will, will tout it and the news will get out. So every time that happens, there will be an indictment or the indication of an indictment uh, uh, against Donald Trump. In other words, Every time there is something that would call the cause uh, or prompt us, uh, the media, or prompt us to focus on the corruption of this crime family, the Biden crime family, something will come up uh, out about Trump to shift the focus. And then the media will have, because of the media, as I said, they're Praetorian media, they're... Uh, their, their only purpose in life these days is to protect it, to circle the wagons around Joe Biden. And they will desperately not want to report anything that's damaging to Joe Biden. So when something comes up, the the government, the, the prosecutors, the Justice Department, Merrick Garland, Merrick Garland, will come up with something, give them something else, the press something else, the Praetorian press something else to to focus on, to report on, and have an excuse not for, to not not to report on Donald Trump. That's what I predicted. It just happened because Devin Archer, Devin Archer, we all know he testified be um, before you know he was deposed before Congress uh, closed door session. But the the transcript was just released, so we can read the transcript for ourselves. I read a, a bit of it. I'm going to read the whole thing later today, but. It, it, it's pretty damaging, and it, and it points a path forward for further investigation. Other people to bring in Congress to, for Congress to bring in and question. The the point I'm making today is the 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 day after that um, deposition was taken, the day after um, Devin Archer uh, testified or was deposed. Trump was indicted. The indictment came down for Trump. And even liberals are just, everybody knows this is a weak, it's a ridiculous, ridiculous case. And what's interesting is what's missing from it, because he's not 
Trump is not accused or he's not indicted for it. He's not accused of uh, inciting a riot or inciting an insurrection, however you want to call it. That's not in there at all. It's just that he tried to overturn the election by talking, by challenging it, by verbally challenging it. And I don't want to get into the details of, of that, but the the only point I'm making is that, is that to, to my own horn, my prediction came true. My prediction came true. The, this damaging testimony. And now we'll see what happens now that this depos- the actual deposition came out, if there's going to be more negative news about Trump. But there will be additional uh, witnesses interviewed and, and additional depositions because uh, Devin Archer, I imagine he, he, he's going to testify publicly publicly under oath at, at some point. But and keep that in mind, he wasn't under oath during the deposition, but it's still a, a felony to lie to Congress. So we can be sure he was telling the, the truth, especially since he's already facing a, a, a one year and one day uh, uh, prison sentence. So he, obviously he doesn't want to make a situation any worse. So that's the... Um, that's the lay of the land right now. There, as I was going to, what I was saying was that there will be additional uh, witnesses, additional information coming out. For instance, uh, an FBI agent uh, corroborated the reports. Are they have they have a deposition testimony from an FBI agent who uh, corroborated at least part of the um, of, of the testimony of these two IRS whistleblowers. Basically, uh, saying or or uh, I'm not the well the I not the IRS whistleblowers. I got to correct myself. If I'm wrong. The FD1023 report, the report by this uh, anonymous but trusted pay. You know, you, FBI used them for years for for a decade. I think ten years paid him two hundred thousand dollars during that time, and he testified about uh, meetings with with various people in various places. And this FBI agent, as I understand it, he was able to get travel records corroborate that this uh, the, the, this uh, uh, what they call a CHS confidential human source was in these places where he said he was in in the F when he in the FD 1023 anyways I, I've taken enough of your time today I just wanted to let you know that well just let everybody know tell the whole world that I was right and you're seeing it more and more I'm seeing talking heads on TV now saying this this can't be a coincidence this happens over and over every time there's negative news about Trump uh, about Biden any Bi- the Biden crime family then something will come out uh, come up uh, uh, about Trump. So I'm sticking with my prediction that this is going to happen again in the future. I don't know what he'll be indicted for. I don't know what's left, but Merrick Garland and this corrupt prosecutor, uh, I mean, special counsel, Jack Smith, they'll come up with something. And when I say uh, corrupt special counsel, you have to remember that he got a conviction, right? He went to court. He got a conviction of uh, uh, Bob McDonald, a uh, former governor, um, Virginia, I believe, for corruption. The, it went to the Supreme Court, was appealed to the Supreme Court. The S- Supreme Court uh, reversed the, the lower court, court uh, decision or reversed uh, the conviction uh, unanimously. Unanimously, that's how how bad this guy is. He has a, a re- reputation for stretching uh, stretching the law to make a, a point to come up with no- novel legal theories, which is happening in this case. By the way, he my understanding is that he he's going back the 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 the, the charge he already made is he's using a, a law, the Espionage Act, that liberals, I guess, until now always said that it was un- claimed it was unconstitutional, but that was a, a passed. In, during the Woodrow Wilson uh, administration in, in 1917. And my understanding, and I could be wrong, so correct me if I am, but the law that um, Jack Smith is using now dates before that to, to the turn of the century, even before 1917. So you can see what, what, he, what he's going for. And, you know, I'm going to throw in a bit. I, I know I've taken too much of your time, but I, I have to throw this in because Alan Dershowitz made a, a very good point that Jack Smith could end up, uh, the, the special counsel could end up um, being indicted himself because the 
the the defense is going to be that Trump was just exercising his constitutional right. Now there's a you know First Amendment right. There's a law that it's a felony to uh, well basically I don't remember the exact legal term, but to go after somebody to prosecute somebody simply for exercising uh, a constitutional right. In this case, uh, the right to free speech. So uh, I would love for that. You can be sure that's going to happen if Trump wins and becomes president. All sorts of things. I. Uh, I, I hope there's enough, there are enough lawyers in the in the country to for all the the special counsels that I, Trump could potentially appoint. So uh, that said, okay, I'm going to end today. Thanks for stopping by. If you could subscribe, as somebody just did recently, uh, you know, welcome to the club and the family. And uh, this is an honest family, not a, a, a crime family like the Bidens. If and come back, most of all, uh, well, share the video with anyone you you think would like it. Come back and see me again. That's most important because I'd love to see all of you again. And until I do see all of you again, bye.